Agora TV. The world is thinking. Nibiru has been the focus of so much attention. And there have been lots of stories about it hiding or it being visible. This was one of the earlier ones. For several months, these two pictures on the left were on the web as pictures of Nibiru. Now, if you look at it, you will see that the star field is exactly the same. So it's not moving sideways, but it is getting bigger, as if it were coming closer. Or it also can be true of an expanding nebula uh, ejected by the star, which is confirmed by the picture on the right, which is a Hubble picture of the same thing. And this is so neat because when I first was sent these, I said, I don't know what it is. It looks like an expanding nebula. And just a day later, I got this wonderful note from a, from a teenager saying, I can help. I can help. I know what it is. It's V838 Mon. And, uh, and go here, and you can see the Hubble telescope picture of it, which was absolutely right. <laughs> uh, another story has been that Nibiru has been hiding behind the sun for three years. And now you'll notice it's morphed from being a planet into basically another star, something comparable in brightness to the sun. The one on the left, if you can see it, is a sunrise picture as part of a sequence you can get internal reflections in cameras. I honestly don't know what that is. The one on the right is more exciting, and I think it's just Photoshop, because I can't imagine naturally anything that would produce two images like that. Uh, but there are people who will tell you now, and I, you might try it. Go out on a sunny day, point your cell phone camera at the sun, take a picture, and look. There's a pretty good chance you'll see Niebuhr. <laughs> Namely, an internal reflection in the lens that produces a second uh, spot there that's basically a reflection of the sun. Um, this is another one that was around for a while. Anyone want to guess what that is? <laughs> Remember those big, heavy dust storms in Sydney a year or so ago? That's the sun photographed through a, through a uh, dust storm. Let me explain that. I say what I think these are. When the pictures are published on the internet, they never have any information what the camera was, what the, uh, the field of view was, who took it, anything like that. And it's because of this conspiracy theory thing. See, NASA and everybody are keeping this a big secret. So the only way we could get a picture from the South Pole Telescope is if some brave scientist there leaked it. And then you'll get the responses back. And, and, I hope the scientist is OK. I hope you're protecting him. I, you know, he might be killed if he, people were known that he had leaked this information. Well, here you have uh, three versions of the pictures from the South Pole Telescope. Um, I wasn't sure what they were, but again, a teenager told me that on the left one uh, that he was taking a Photoshop class. And so he just decided to go in, starting from nothing. He said, in 15 minutes, he duplicated that picture completely, uh, just starting from, a, from a nothing. 